Hello YouTube, uh, this is Christian from iGadgets. Um, we've been absent from YouTube uh, for a little while now, uh, but um, I decided to just uh, send up a video today uh, about a little situation that some people may find themselves into. Uh, that uh, It's actually quite a bit of a headache to resolve, so I won't waste too much of your time and go straight to the point. Uh, so basically, the situation I'm going to be talking about is... Uh, on the Galaxy S2, specifically the GTI 9100 model. This is the international version of the Galaxy S2. I mean, uh, it's a, it was a very common phone back in the day, but uh, right now there's still a few people who still use it. And um, I found uh, there are certain issues with the software that come yeah, quite often. I mean, uh, let's just get to the point. Um, so. Uh, this phone comes in two variants. I mean, on the market, I've found it uh, in two versions. Like one that comes with the SIM card tray like this, as you can see here. And then there's this other version that comes with a little metallic plate in there. Um, I don't know. I thought initially that maybe this was some kind of counterfeit. I thought this was the Korean version. Because uh, this particular... Uh, I mean, this particular one... I mean the one that comes with the little plate is actually uh, a flimsy phone fails a lot has a lot of uh, charging port issues and a bunch of things I really hate them because they never work correctly also they never get uh, 3g uh, I mean no 3g data from any carriers I don't know I thought it was related uh, to the fact that maybe this is a <clears throat> SHWM250S on the on the case uh, for a Galaxy S2, uh, the regular one. Uh, but I mean, I've noticed that as time goes by, I keep seeing them more and more. So I don't know if maybe Samsung made a revision of the way they built this initial phone. So I don't know. The thing is that uh, some people who get one of the uh, ones with the little plate here, sometimes will find themselves into this situation like... Um, you get this phone and then you, you flash uh, a more updated version of the software in it. And uh, after you get that done, uh, you get into a problem where you press the power button for a few seconds and you, you don't get the power up dialogue. I mean, you know, when you press the power button after a few seconds, there's a little dialogue that asks you if you want to restart your phone or power it off. So... Normally, that's what we would see on any Galaxy S2 when you press the the power button. But in this particular case, you just press the button, the phone goes off straight up. Like, it doesn't ask you anything, it just goes off. Say, for example, I press it right now. See, it goes off instantly. There is no dialogue coming up. Um, so, there is a solution going around that involves you having to root the phone and uh, getting some uh, root access into the device and then modifying some files uh, I think at the EFS folder uh, which is actually not a good thing to be messing around with um, but I mean I, I, I've been I've gotten a few of these phones and whenever I encounter this problem it, it always takes a lot of time because then I have to root it and go through all that but I mean, at, at, at some point between all of my research, I, I stumbled upon a website that I cannot remember, or I can't, I mean, I wish I could give them the, the actual credit for this, but I mean, I, I, I can't recall, and I, I, ha I haven't been able to find it ever since. Anyhow, the thing is, there is a simple method to get this to go away, to get your your power off dialog to show up without having to restore or modify any files or install any root file explorers or anything like that. So it's as simple as dialing one of those uh, service codes. So let's see for example in this particular case you just go to phone, open up the phone app and then you're gonna dial star pound 87 I'm going to put it here, 9-7-6-6-3-3, and then the, the pound symbol again. Okay, so after we've done this, 
Now we simply go and press the power button. And voila, here, are, here is the dialogue again. No need to root or anything. The phone just works straight up. No hassle whatsoever. This takes less than five minutes. I mean, not even less, less than a minute. I made this video longer by talking too much. But I guess uh, you guys are used to that now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll try to upload content every once in a while. But, uh, and there are a lot of things going on. I really appreciate you guys have stuck with me. Uh, and I hope to keep bringing you useful stuff. Thank you very much. And if you like what you saw, there are other videos around in my channel that if you mess around with phones, they, they might be able to help you. So please subscribe. And if you like this, hit the like button. You guys will help me a great deal with that. Uh, thank you very much. And see you later.